and fuming. Residents in a Jupiter mobile home park that will be paved over for new developments say they're being cut off from the water access they once took for granted. Jason Hackett's live with the latest on what's been a long simmering controversy. Jason. And Michael, as you can see here at the Sunny Sands Mobile Home Park, the bright red letters, the park is closed. Eviction letters were handed out earlier this year. Still about two dozen residents live here and they still pay rent here. They say this entire thing is a slap in the face, but the park manager says it's necessary. Sean Kelly not only lives at Sunny Sands, he was married here. My wife and her friends came up on a little boat. Fast forward six years and the spot where he made those memories just feet from his home now blocked from view. This is so offensive. It's it's the end. It's the end for us. This six foot tall fence installed last week, separating the inlet from the mobile park, the latest chapter in the ongoing dispute between residents and the property's developer. Residents are fighting back against plans to build a multi million dollar hotel, taking the matter to court and trying to void the sale of the property. I think that this was put here uh, just for spite. Residents say their once beautiful view and access to the beach is gone, but it's not their only concern. We've had to rescue boaters who have capsized. We've um, had to rescue um, somebody who was on the beach. If they were in distress, we would have, as citizens and residents, we would have no way of being able to reach them. The park manager told Fox 29 by phone the fence is for safety and liability purposes. He also emphasized the park is closed and has been for months, even though the developer has allowed the remaining residents to stay. But for Kelly, it's less about the fence itself and more about the symbol he says it represents for his family. My wife grew up in a faraway nation where oligarchs ran everything in their world. Two days ago, she looked out the window and she says, I'm living under the same oligarch. Now the suit from the residents against that developer is still in litigation. Both sides are due back in court next week. In Jupiter, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5.